Okay, so what's a timeline? Well, let me show you in relation to this video. As you can see, you're in the introduction phase. This is where we try to grab your attention and keep you watching. Then I'm gonna tell you how useful timelines can be for project management, presentations, storytelling, and much more. Next, I'll explain the difference between vertical and horizontal layouts, and we'll build a quick one using a template. After that, I'll show you how to create one from scratch, mobile first. And finally, we'll come to a triumphant ending where I wrap it all up, but leave you wanting more. Hopefully encouraging you to give Canva and timelines a try for yourself. So you're probably wondering, why should you even bother watching the rest of this video? Now you know exactly what's going to happen. Well, I guess you just might have to wait around and see if it is exactly what happens. Hi, I'm Hannah, a backend software engineer here at Canva. So as I showed you, a timeline is a visual representation of events or processes arranged in chronological order. In other words, they showcase a sequence of occurrences step by step over a specified period. In project management, timelines are used to outline milestones, deadlines, and dependencies, ensuring team members have a clear understanding of their tasks and timeframes. In storytelling or historical writing, timelines help convey the narrative's progression, making it easier for the audience to follow the plot and understand relationships between events. They're really an effective tool for enhancing communication, simplifying complexity, and keeping everyone on the same page. And they're super easy to make. Let me show you how. On the Canva homepage, begin by searching for timelines. This will give thousands of results that are all customizable and ready to make your own. Look how varied they are. I like this one, showing the roadmap to success. Get it? It's a road? Okay, you got it. You also have vertical ones and some horizontal ones. What's the difference, I hear you ask? Well, not much really. Vertical timelines are well suited for scrolling on digital platforms like phones, useful when dealing with a very large number of events or long timeframes. You know where the progression of events is what's important. Horizontal timelines are more traditional, reading from left to right. Great for presentations and print where you need to have a clear overview of everything or when you need to go back and forth between events for comparison. Both orientations can effectively communicate chronological events, so it might just come down to the medium you're using and how it'll fit. Let's begin with the horizontal one that outlines the safety process that needs to be followed. From the search, I selected this template. Hit customize and it'll open in the editor. Oh, cool, look at all the additional pages you could add. Click on any to try them out. There's even a presentation template built in, in case you need to show this to stakeholders. And a resource page. I love it when the template designer goes that extra mile. As you can see, everything is customizable. In no time at all, I can make things fit my needs by changing the text, the colors, I'll adjust the fonts like this. Choose some new icons from the elements tab. Add in some branding. Maybe a QR code here if people need more information. And now I have something easily displayed for employees to review before starting their shifts. In just over a minute. Isn't that awesome? Getting it printed is simple too. Just head here and choose a little delivery truck. I'm gonna choose a landscape poster. Now, it might ask you to resize. Then you can choose the size and quantity and they'll be delivered to your door in just over a week. It couldn't be simpler. This type of timeline could be used for all sorts of things stages of a project, a sequence of tasks, event planning, product development, onboarding and training, the list goes on. It's just a great way of bringing clarity to a process that needs to be followed, step by step. Okay, I promised I'd show you one that's great for digital sharing as well. Before I do that, would you mind checking out the playlist and subscribing? 
We upload design tips and tricks every week, and it's the easiest way to become a Canva expert. Trust me. Taught to you by Canva insiders like me. Ah, that video could be an excellent follow-up to watch after this one. Okay, let's say you want to explore a historical event, like maybe the evolution of your business, or maybe it's a class assignment, the history of ancient Egypt. Well, a timeline is a perfect way to show how each stage led to the next. Because we're going to make it digital and easy to read on your phone, I'm going to use my phone. When I launch the app, I'll search for a vertical timeline. I'm really just looking for the right shape. This will work. Now, because it's for mobile, I'll make sure it's really easy to read while people are on the go. I don't want people zooming in or squinting. So keep information centralized, text minimal, and fonts as clear and large as possible. I'll use large striking imagery here so people can really tie together what they're reading and seeing. Okay, you can see that you could keep taking it further, but we're running out of time. So let me show you how to share this. The easiest way is to select the view only option here. This will give you a link that you can send via messenger, email, or even learning portals. When people tap on the link, this is what they'll see. They can scroll down and appreciate your amazing design. They can even react. You could also choose to share it straight to social or download it. It's all here in the share menu. maybe even embedded on a website. Anyway, that's how quick and easy it is to create a timeline in Canva. Whether you're a business owner, a student, or a marketing professional, timelines are an invaluable visual tool for organizing and presenting information in a clear and engaging manner. And remember, if you're stuck for ideas, just start with a template. That's what I always do. It gets me past the blank page so I can focus on what I want to communicate. Any questions or feedback, I'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Hmm, so by my estimates, according to my timeline, you should be off watching another video by now. Oh, not sure what to watch? Well, the best place to start is the playlist here. That's full of fun stuff. Actually, this one might be good. It talks a lot about timelines and infographics. Until next time.